in this video I'm going to talk about kind of like the origins of the standard deviation formula. You know, geometrically this has a meaning and it might help you understand what standard deviation is about. Okay, so standard deviation is the whole idea that, you know, it's the variation from the mean. That's a fancy way of saying how are the points spread out from the center, you know, how consistent are the points from the center. Another way also is what is the average distance of any point to the mean? Well, let's say I have a whole bunch of data points, right? I have nine of them here and the average is 10. So one of the things to discover the spread of the points or the variation of the data is to figure out how far apart are these points from the mean. And so why the mean? Well, the mean uh, turns out it's a balance point, and we'll figure that out right now. Um, you could do it with the median. Uh, you don't do it with the mode. Okay, so the distance from uh, 10 to 12 is 2. You can see that there's a 2. And the distance from 10 to 8 is minus 2. How come? Well, if you look at the formula here, x minus x bar, right? x meaning a point, let's say 12, and x bar, right, is going to be what, 10, and there's a subtraction, that gives you a distance of 2, which again is part of the formula for the standard deviation. And you can do that for all the points. You can see that the distance from the, the points that are, are at the right, the po these points that are to the right of the mean are positive. You can think of them as positive distance. And those points that are on the left of the mean are negative distances. You could also think of it this way. These points here are what? Above average. And these points over here are below average. And when you think of above average, you think of positive. When you think of below average, you think negative. And it's unfortunate, you know, that the idea of below average, above average. It just says if you're below average, just means that you're below the average point, <laughs> the, the average balance point. Okay, anyway. The distances that we've discovered, these distances, these lines, you can kind of like add them together or this analogy of weighing them or whatever um, gives you a balance point. You got negative and positive distances. When you add them up, it gives you zero which is a balance point. It's one of the most important ideas in statistics. It's the point when talking about the mean. It balances your data points. It's almost like a fulcrum. And I have um, a video that describes this as well. Okay, let's move on. So you have these distances uh, what do you do? Well, if we add them, it gives you zero. Well, that doesn't help to find like the average distance um, from the mean. Uh, again, I guess one of the things that we sort of should think about is, you know, why do we want to describe the standard deviation? And one of the things, yes, it's the variation from the mean, but if data points are more spread out right um, the data is not consistent and what does that mean <laughs> no pun intended consistency is all about things that are reproducible right so when you get a Cheetos bag when you open the bag you know the amount of Cheetos in there are the same amount as if you open another Cheetos bag right imagine if you opened uh, a bag of M&Ms and there's less than usual that's not being consistent so how do you measure something like that you measure these ideas 
Yes, you can do it by counting, but you can also do it through the idea of standard deviation because if a bag is short of candy, most likely other bags are, and thus you can find an overall pattern of, of uh, whatever it is that you're trying to measure in terms of consistency. Okay, so we can take these lines and we can square them. Okay, and that's what the formula tells us to do as well. You can see it says to square. Um, and that's because, again, if we just added these distances, it would give you zero, and that doesn't give us any information in terms of the variation. But if we square the distances, we get these boxes. You, you, can, you can see that the longer or the farther you are, right, the farther you are, in terms of your point, if your data point is too far away from the mean, your box is going to be large. And if your boxes are too large, you can see that when you add this up and when you do the rest, it's going to give you a larger standard deviation compared to what? Compared to another standard deviation, right? So you can see that uh, it goes to the whole idea of outliers, right? If you have an outlier, Thus, your distance will be very far from the mean, and this outlier will create a very large box. Thus, it will affect the standard deviation. If you get rid of the, the outlier, then you can see it's, the standard deviation will be much smaller. If you don't know what the outlier is, what an outlier is, um, I wouldn't worry about it. But for those who, who, who understand that, and gives you an insight. Okay, so we have these boxes. What do we do? In the formula it says we're going to add them up. <clears throat> and that's what we're going to do. And so we add up the boxes and it turns out that the total area is 318. 318 might be a familiar number if you've been watching my videos. Uh, there's a video that I do this algebraically or put the numbers in the formula and such. Okay, 318. So um, you pop 318, right, which will be here. And then n take away 1, there are 9 data points. And you subtract 1, that gives you 8, right? And you can see that there are eight boxes. So that kind of makes sense. And then when you divide 318 divided by 8, it gives you 39.75, which is the average square distance to the mean. And so we name this average square we can name it as the variance. Now, this is not a variance video, but the value 39.75 would be the variance for this problem. Okay, so we're almost done, right? So this whole thing that's right in here is 39.75. So this is not an average distance. This is an average square. Remember, we want to find the average distance. Average distance, what is that? What does that mean? Average distance is the spread of the data, the variation of the data, right? How consistent the data is and so forth. So uh, we're looking for an average distance from the mean, not an average, not a, not a squared average, right? So how do you make, how do you go from a square to a line? Well, it turns out that you can find the average distance from any point to the mean. We need to take the square root of 39.75. When we take the square root of a number, right, the number is assumed to be a square. And when we take the square root of that number, it becomes a line, the average of the line, which, by the way, is the answer. This is why we take the square root after we sum and then we divide by the number of data points. Okay, 
So the answer is 6.30, meaning that's the average distance. And so if we go back, right, there is a line, right? There's a line 6.30, right? I think that was the answer, 6.30. There is a line, 6.30, that's the average distance, right, of these data points. And, of course, there's more meaning to that, you know, because you just can't add these numbers and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4 and get the same answer. But hopefully this, this gives you a bit of an insight of how this formula which is the standard deviation of the sample standard deviation works.